this going. I'll just start my recording going. So, um, I'm I'm actually thinking. So, my thoughts are, these guys are mostly heavier than us. Yeah. And that, um, and I think the best penalty we can give them is to just constantly cause them to to surge a bit and have to accelerate yeah. a few times. I think. If we just kind of keep like the acceleration of the line, we're going to be quicker. Yeah, so if you yeah, have an advantage. yeah, that's right. But the thing is, there's a few k's before we get to the first climb, and I kind of think, I kind, I kind of think we just keep hitting them. Okay. In all honesty, I think we just keep taking turns surging. So the person who doesn't want to surge is Adam. Adam, you don't want to be doing any surging because that's not your forte. And that you save your legs for the climb and ideally help try and pull us along. And that, and I think if we go pretty much all full nuts on that first climb, hopefully we drop maybe one or two of them. And that. Uh, so Alex, Alex is Alex is a lightweight. He's like roughly 65-ish, but he's got a low FTP. Yeah, he's the lowest in the group. He's 235. Right, so all their other riders are over 300. Right, of note, um, Bill's their strongest. He's like 340. Oh, sorry, Tim is the strongest at 340. Bill is 330. They're both similar weight. Clay is only 308, and he's also in that same weight category of 80 to 90 kilos. Right, um, Brian is a 320. He's also 80 to 90 kilos. Right, so Whoa. four of them are all heavy. Right, so they're in your weight class, Mark, but you still have an FTP advantage over them. So in all honesty, Mark, have a bit of fun, but you just want to save a little bit of legs coming into that climb, and then let's let's get it let's get serious when we get to the climb and keep surging and see how much we can break their legs and, and make them work, and you know, and then just hold a good effort all the way up the climb. Basically, turn the whole bump section and the climb itself into one long effort as much as possible and, and we'll see how the dust settles. I suspect we can drop uh, drop a couple of them along there and that. But I think... Well, we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on. Yeah, yeah, Adam, Adam, you hold on. You don't need to do any efforts, you just hold on. Right, so if we kind of pull okay. off the front, we don't want to pull away, we just want to make them work over and over. No, no, let's not go hard. Do it. Do at least 500 watts out of the gate because they may go hard. Be ready for it just in case they do. No one's standing up yet. So I think it's a civil start. Okay, Donald, they're going to want to sit in. Yeah, actually, it's all right. You can do a bit of a pull if you want. And then yeah. ease off, let them come through. And then someone else can come through and, and kind of make them chase a little bit over and over. Okay, this climb's definitely a good spot to move away a bit. Definitely chasing us, I think. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Uh, yeah, yep, let them come through. Yeah. 
Anyone want? Anyone else want to go through a bit on the climb? Yeah. Not Adam. Adam, you save your legs for the ups. Okay, don't go too hard, Shane. Save some legs. Let's stretch them out a little bit. Okay, ease up, let's regroup again. Let's not burn too much. Let's let their riders come through for a second. Let their riders lead out for a little bit. Let's get a fraction of recovery in. And then we'll get into it as soon as we start going uphill, which is really soon. Let's see what we can do to their legs. Yeah, that's all good. We're waiting for it too. Let me tell you, their numbers look worse than ours with the exception of Shane. Very nice. <laughs> okay, whenever you surge off the front, no huge efforts. Because that just burns your legs pretty quickly. Yep. Just controlled efforts. Rinse and repeat. And ideally, when the pace slows after we hit a hill. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up a little bit on this one. Let's see who's following. Let's just sit on him and we'll go, we'll roll past him on the next one. Okay, a bit of a surge here. Might hold it for two. Let's let him go through a little bit. Let's let them all come back past us. I think it goes up for a little bit here. Okay, as it slows down, let's get on it again. They're trying to team up. Okay, here's a bit of a hill. Let's go for a bit. This one drags on.
Okay, I reckon we let them in for a bit, let them do some work. They're just trying to chill, let's get a bit of recovery in. Okay, not far away, we start going up. I think it's downhill for a little bit. Get some recovery in. And then we're going for we're going for it on that hill. Not yet, not yet. Oh Shane dropped off. Sorry I didn't even see that. You're good mate. Okay. Keep at it, solid effort. Okay, ease up guys. Lead them on the front. Let's let the pace slow. We want to accelerate with a lower speed, less drafting. Okay, let's go. Solid effort everyone. Let's see how many of them can hold on. Okay, nothing's going to happen. Sit in, recover.
Hey, uh, Donald, ease off. Yeah. Let them go. I'm let their, the let their guys, let their guys follow through. I'm the back of the pack. Oh, okay. Me. Sorry, it looked like you're up front. No. All good. I don't want to work to catch Mark. Yeah. Let, let their guys catch Mark. Yeah. And if that guy rides, if that guy rides away, I'm not worried. He's yeah, their, he's their strongest rider. Yeah. So if we dump him, we've got a better chance of dropping more of these guys. Uh, he's, they're all getting back on now. Yeah. It's all good. Ease up, Mark. Get some recovery in, mate. We got a few more bumps okay. coming up. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep hammering the pace on these bumps. Make them chase me a bit. I wonder if I can make them chase nobody. Where's these bumps? Yeah, I got a ghost. I think it might be more effective to uh, use it. Yeah, they just sprint, sprint, through, sprint through and disappear, and drop a ghost and see what happens. See if someone goes chasing nobody. Where's, where's the bottom of this hill? Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the bottom. I need to run through them a couple of times first to make them wary. Steering, right? Yeah, most of them will, most of them will have steering. Yeah. They're a US team. It's readily available over there. <laughs> Tim's doing all the work. So, Alex is running on fumes. That's their weakest link by good margin, surprisingly. Let them. Oh, yep, that's right. Get back on. Yeah. Alex is definitely their weak link. If their rider wants to go by himself, let him. 
Don't respond. I want him gone so we can then race their riders. Okay, I'm going to play a bit of a game with them. Don't follow me. See if any of them want to cut chase. Make them accelerate. No, I'm not going to do it yet. Okay, I'll let them come back. I'm going to use the ghost in the tunnel. for a sec. Yeah. I want to leave Bill, I want to leave uh, Mr. Bill off the front. Let him burn his legs. Okay, keep, keep on that guy, don't let him ride past you. That's oh, okay. He's not going. He's not going to bridge, or he will, only because they're letting him. Okay. Yeah, like I said, he'll burn his legs out riding by himself. You need at least a pair. Okay, I'm going to play games. Ignore me. No, they didn't react. Yeah, well, you can't see it. I believe it disappears. But I don't know if it does it on source, though. drop off I didn't see that happen. Yeah. He must have had a, he must have had a problem. Well I won't complain about it. Okay let's uh, okay we want to try and get rid of Alex. So let's do some repetitive hits for a little bit. Kill Alex's legs before we get to the climb. I want that Alex guy to work his work his little ass off. Okay, let's get up this climb quick. I 
Okay, two of their guys are pretty low. Let's get this climb done. That a technical because I only see four of their riders, I don't see a fifth on uh, on uh, source. Okay, let's get in there. Solid effort, boys. Draft them for the first little bit and then go.
Okay. Um. Tommy, hang in there as best you can. Yeah. You don't need to catch. If you can catch, that's great. Otherwise, don't worry. Bunta, what power up he got? Adam, what power up? Oh, okay. I got them though. Sorry, what have you got? Anvil. Anvil, okay. Yeah, we'll use it on the Yep. I've got a ghost. You can't use that close to the finish line. So, I think my best bet is working in harmony with you. Oh, that's dumb. I'll use that here. Is that a range of things that come? The, it has a limited range. Yeah, no. Oh, I was going to say don't use that, Buna. Save it. I suppose we'd have another power up soon anyway. Yeah, we have one more at the front. Okay, so I have got a ghost. I'm thinking I'm going to use the ghost and sprint off at um, just before the downhill. Like the downhill yeah. into town. So like a long, long lead out. All right. And okay. hopefully they take the bait and go. And if they do, then I'm going to let them go past and I'm going to go back past them again, heading into the finish line. I'm going to try and use them to draft mule me. Don't go past him. I'm holding his teammates up. Oh, nice one, Mark. Nice one. Rest and recover, mate. That's what he does. See, gravity is your friend. There's a uh, one more shit climb to go. Um, like I said, Mark, I'm gonna I'm gonna fake a sprint really early. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know what it's gonna be like when we get there, but I'll fake it early. Hopefully they'll try and go. I can drop in on them and then have a go at them again before the line. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to work out what to do with how you're feeling at the time. But if you've got an anvil and they go, definitely use it on that downhill. Just remember as soon as you hit the flat the effect of that anvil has gone. So its best use is actually to make it easy for you on that downhill. So, regardless of whether you need it, you're better off using it at that downhill if that's what you got. You got a ghost as well? Okay. What about you, Adam? Nothing yet, but I'm going to figure through it. Oh, right. sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to keep my ghost. I think it's more useful to me than an anvil. Alright, I got as well. 
let's uh let's just speed the pace up a bit into this hill just to prevent them from trying to do a sprint away from us up the hill instead of sprinting they'll be playing catch up I'm just following him it's all right he's easing already yeah okay oh come on Tommy I'm going to dangle a little bit to help you get back on. Nice. That's right, hopefully we make them go early. And, uh, and they burn their legs and we can sit in. Okay, let's play games with them and see how they react. Okay, I think you got it. No, no, no. Okay. Damn. Where do they get those massive legs for at the end? <sighs> so one, two, three, four, five. This was going to be interesting. I think they've got it. So we've got Kurt, and I think, I think we've got Shane too, right? Shane's going to, I think Shane's going to come, oh no, Shane's right there. Oh, I can't even remember who we got. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
We're only missing one rider. Yeah, Shane is in Yeah, but he, yeah, he's at the back right, isn't he? So if he comes in eighth, I think that's two points. Shouldn't it be ten riders? Yeah, it's ten. So it's ten at one. Oh wait, yeah, all... yeah. So we've got heaps of ours up the front. Oh, this could be really, really interesting. It'll be tight. Yeah. It's going to be bloody eight, tight. Nine. Eight nine. Nine seven six. You need at least twenty eight to get a win. Okay, yeah, so we've currently got nine, seven plus six, five plus four. We've got twenty six right now. We need twenty eight, right? So we need a. So yeah, we need we need points. we need two more points. So we need the next place. We need ninth, eighth, or ninth place. We'll do. No, eighth. We need eighth. We have to get eighth. Okay. I'm pretty confident we need eighth. Because 27, 28, 27, 28, I'm pretty confident is as close as it gets. Ah, they got it. So it means we get ninth, we get one point. And that only gives us 27. Ah, they got it. They're going to get us by one point. Unless one of their riders drops out completely or they have a... Ah, that's bloody close. Man, that is epically close. Spewing. That would have been a sneaky little win if... <laughs> And the guy who came in eighth is the one that records the YouTube. Damn, I... <laughs> they were a lot better than their stats on the on the site. Yeah, but I think um, I think like I said, I think they just they just rode to save energy for the climbs, knowing that 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 was be their yeah. handicap. And the reality is that a couple of their guys did all fall away on climbs. I know. But let's also face the fact. So I, I talked to these guys. I talked to them the other day. They, did a, they didn't do ZRO yesterday. They did some other race with like 200 metres of climbing. And, and all us idiots, all us idiots did a 600 metre race of 35 Ks and just destroyed ourselves. So... I was feeling it. Yeah. I was actually... Ha I'm happy considering what I did yesterday to do that. I'm all right, guys, good race. I'm out. We'll see you next time. Yeah, no, all good. Yeah, they definitely got the ninth as well, so... All good. Anyway, I'm going to go all get my... Up. I'm going to get my shake. That was a nice close race. That was good. Yeah. As good as it's going to get. Thanks, everybody. Uh, that's uh, There's always next time. That's that a nice close race. Yeah. Considering how far these guys are from the ladder, like they're about the furthest forward team we can challenge, and and we had them on the wire. That was good. That was a really. They're, they're above us, or they're above us. No, they're above us. They're way above us. They're, oh, okay, right. they're they're like they're the highest team we can challenge at the moment. They actually beat Herd. Um, they they beat Herd the other week as well. That's um, Herd's a pretty strong team. I don't think it's that bad. We're just holding our position. Well, yeah, but the trouble is that all the teams above us are a lot like this. And the yeah. teams below us are just like, they're not actually difficult for us to beat if we have our strong riders. Like we can pretty much all just romp in it. And that, we're kind of in a no man's land where we kind of, it's hard, hard, to, hard to get move up any bit at all. And that, I yeah, mean, yeah. the reality is for us to move up, we just need, a, we, we either need a lot more stronger riders or we need a few more teams to come along that are closer to us. And that, but that, yeah. like I said, in general, general, generally speaking, these guys are pretty damn close to us. They're, they're not, in terms of numbers, they're not all that different. I think our fatigue from yesterday is probably not uh, helping. Uh, yeah. It's not helping, but it doesn't matter, man. At the end of the day, race the race, they beat us, but we gave them a good run, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I wonder if I could have done more that race than that one's the crux of the race, really. Well, yeah, well, I think I've mentioned this before, but generally, you want yourself to favour the most important parts of the track. Yeah, and that. So, um, so like to me, the climbs were the most important part. But because a lot of the climbing was at speed, particularly the first climbs, and that that's why I went the air road because that way I've got the fastest climbing full air road setup. And that um, if if I wanted to go if I wanted better climbing, I would have just simply changed the Pinarello. 
and then I the Pinarello or I could have yeah I think the Pinarello with disc is is considerably quicker than what I got and if I wanted to go full nerd I could have gone uh Envy 7.8s with a Pinarello and it would have had quite literally a climbing weapon and a pretty decent aero package as well yeah and that so anyway no that's all good that was a good race I know. Anyway, there's always next time.